Welcome back, friends, with another movie reaction. Today, we are watching Transformers. It was a long time ago, but I remember really liking the Beast Wars TV show. I even got the Optimus Primal toy. It was pretty darn cool. Probably in storage somewhere. Maybe I can find it for when Rise of the Beasts comes out. But yeah, I found out about Rise of the Beasts, and that's the reason I'm finally getting started with this film series. Didn't want to go into the new movie without watching the previous six movies, apparently. This one came out in 2007, and I know it features Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. I'm not sure I've seen either of them in anything before, so this will be a good first exposure. And I know just a few names, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, because I know they have their own movie, and I know Megatron, though I honestly associate that name more now with Calvin Johnson, the Detroit Lions player, than I do with the leader of the Decepticons, but anyway, full reaction is going to be on Patreon, leave a like, and on the cuts, roll out! That was corny as hell. Before time began, there was the cube. Born. All spark for a time think? we lived in, and so began the war. A war that ravaged our planet until it was consumed by death. And just when all hope seemed lost, message of a new discovery drew us to an unknown planet called Earth. What do you, Captain? You got a perfect day. I just can't wait to hold my baby girl for the first time. Oh. oh. <sighs> so what's the U.S. military up to these days? Colonel Sharp, we have an inbound unidentified infiltrator ten miles out. Nope. Sir, this here 4500 X was shot down three months ago, Afghanistan. It's got to be a mistake. Is it a transformer? Five miles out, sir. Oh no! There's someone inside. I guess you could. Oh! What the heck? They the what can stop it besides another transformer? Jeez. So for my family genealogy report, I decided to do it on my great-great-grandfather, who was a famous man, uh, Captain Archibald Witwicky. In 1897, he took 41 brave sailors straight into the Arctic shelf. And found the Allspark. I don't know. Well, I'm going blind and crazy in a psycho ward. Drawing these strange symbols and battling on about some uh, giant ice man that he thought he discovered. Let me tell you something, son. A driver don't pick the car. The car pick the driver. It's a mystical bond between man and machine. This one's got racing stripes. I mean, yeah, it got racing. Yeah, what the, what the heck is this? Oh. I'm you said cars pick their drivers. Well, sometimes they pick a driver with a cheap ass file off the car. Right here. I sold a car the other day. Oh, oh. Whoa! You ruined this guy's business. Both out. <laughs> okay, okay. And I say he's recruiting right out of high school these days. Guys, this is Secretary of Defense. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary of Defense. Please be seated. That's not helpful. That's the signal that hacked our network. Now, uh, why doesn't my little bunny just hop in the back seat? Oh. oh, God, I can't even tell you how much I'm not your little bunny. Michaela! With me. Sam! With Ricky! Nobody gets stranded or anything. You sure? I can't believe that I'm here right now. You can duck down if you want. I mean, it won't hurt my feelings. Uh, no, no, no. I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean here with you. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, come on. I'm, I'm a friend of yours. I'm not a romantic friend. But, you know, romantic friends do this. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not that that friend. I mean, we. I, I could be. <laughs> Just pop the hood. Stop. What do you? Go fast. It looks like your uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. Guys don't like it when you know more about cars than they do. Especially not Trent. Yeah. He hates it. Uh. Yeah, no, I'm cool with, uh, you know, females working on my engine. I prefer it, actually. 
Okay. You wanna fire it up for me? Oh yeah. yeah no oh my god, the innuendos. Arms? You know what? I'm just uh I'm gonna walk. Please, please. <laughs> Baby come back! Du, 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 du. Oh! Anything can be a transformer. Oh boy. They're hacking the network again. Tell somebody. Oh God, this is a direct match to the signal in Qatar. Are you running a diagnostic? Should I be? Yes, you should. Someone! They're hacking into Air Force One. We need a senior analyst. I think they're planning a virus. A virus? You gotta a little. Hard lines. What? Whatever they want, they are getting it. Oh. <laughs> That's his great great grand daddy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. No one stole it, it just drove off. Where are you going, my car, buddy? Where are you going? Hot damn. Sam Witwicky. Whoever finds this, my car is alive, okay? Whoa. Listen, listen, listen. Good, you're here. Let me see your hands. No, 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 no. Let's no, no, no. uh, hope this telephone line works. It's a lot of storylines going on once. Well, so much for that. Jeez. Don't kill him. He has a daughter to go back to. Oh, de oh no! Jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard about a premium plus? Oh my god! No, I don't want a premium package! <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I've never seen this in my life. We need gunships on station ASAP. The predator's coming up in a minute. Linking the call to the nearest AWAC. Radar Jamie and Sandy of Target. Is it gonna dodge somehow? Nope. Maybe it's taking some damage. Oh, and it just burrows away. Oh, part of it! Part of it broke off! There's only one hacker in the world who can break this code. Me! I don't know who. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, uh, Maggie! Listen, I need no! Help. This is my private area, my, my place of zen and peace. Uh, uh, oh, here come the uh, 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 This is the best hacker in the world! How classified. Like I will go to jail for the rest of my life for showing you classified. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the, the signal strength is through the roof. Where did you say you got this? Pack the national military air guard frequency in less than a minute. No way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's stop with the parking mojo. It's too early, please. Is this car back? His car's back. Uh, ching ching. <laughs> uh, the car chooses you. Remember? Oh, great. No, not great. Not great at all. I've been followed here on my mother's bike, right? And my car's right there, and it's been following me here. So, so get out of the car. Jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> After that, holy crap! Are you username ladies man two one seven? I don't know what you're 
Are you using in ladies' men 217? Where are the glasses? Oh! What is your problem, Sam? Okay, there's a monster right there who just attacked me. Here he comes! Sam, what is that thing? You have to get in the car. Get in, get in the car. Trust me. Trust me. Sam! <laughs> The police are chasing us! Uh, it's night time now! This car chase me go- Oh! They got dumped out. There's so much metal moving around, I can't see what's happening. Michaela, help him! Oh, he's just running away. Ah, oh, his pants. No, even bullets wouldn't. Um. Can you talk? XM satellite radio. Broadcast digital cable for you. Broadcasting system. So you you talk to the radio? What are you like, an alien or something? Oh, we're really gonna get back inside you. Any more questions you want to ask? Oh, and now it's a fucking phone. Wow. Why don't you sit in that seat, girl? I'm not gonna sit in that seat. He's driving. Yeah. <laughs> you can sit in my lap. Not smooth enough to say that, probably. Well, maybe you should sit in my lap. Oh, I was wrong. I have the only seatbelt here. You know, safety first. You know what I don't understand? Hmm. Why, if he's supposed to be like this super advanced robot, does he transform back into this piece of crap? Come here. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Four thousand dollar car. I'd say you got more than you bargained for. It's like skipping rocks, but on a planetary level. Scan something and turn into it. Pretty cool. What you got? Oh, oh, Optimus Prime. Do they all talk through radio? I feel like I can get old pretty fast. Jeez. Hello, humans. Are you Samuel James Whitwicky, descendant of Archibald Whitwicky? Let's crack a little bitches. My first what? lieutenant. <laughs> uh, designation Jazz. This looks like a cool place. Let's cracking little bitches. You already know your <laughs> guardian, Bumblebee. Bumblebee! Bumblebee. Check on the rep. Right? Yep, second and none. So you're my guardian, huh? His vocal processes were damaged in battle. Ah. Uh. Why are you here? We are here looking for the Allspark. And we must find it before Megatron. Leader of the Decepticons. All who defied them were destroyed. Our war finally consumed the planet where Captain Whitwicky found him. Wow. My grandfather. It was an accident that intertwined our fate. Something that looks like a claw. Megatron crash landed before he could retrieve the cube. <laughs> The coordinates to the cube's location on Earth were imprinted on his glasses. Wow. How'd you know about his glasses? eBay. eBay. They will use its power to transform Earth's machines and build a new army. Oh. And the human race will be extinguished. <laughs> no, 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 no. Glasses. Oh, come on. What? what is this? Time is short. 
They really want those glasses. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No. No. No, no, no. This isn't hiding. How come the door's locked? You know the rules. No door's locked in my house. You know he'll start counting if you don't open the door. Oh dear. Why are you so sweaty and filthy? <laughs> a child. You're a child. <laughs> voices and noises, and we thought yeah, maybe. Doesn't matter what we thought. Were... What was that light? <laughs> so we heard you talking to somebody, Sam. We want to know I, I, who. I, I, I... Hi, I'm Michaela. <laughs> Gosh. She oh, she's so gorgeous. happy. Oh, so she the... can hear you talking, Mom. Jeez. Ronald Wickety. It's with Wiki. Who are you? We're the government. Sector 7. Never heard of it. Never will. What is this? How you doing, son? Is your name Sam? Yeah. Well, I need you to come with us. Well, are way out of line. Sir, I am asking politely. <laughs> Direct contact. 14 rats. Bingo! Tag him and bang him! This is like a do whatever I want and get away with it badge. He's just pissy because he's got to get back to guarding the mall. Do not test me. Wow. Especially with your daddy's parole coming up. What? Parole? Wow. Well, that'd be a real shame if he had to rot in jail the rest of his natural life. It is time to talk. Oh! <sighs> <sighs> Taking the children was a bad move. <laughs> Autobots? Relieve them of their weapons. Oh. Get out of the car. All right. All right. Me. Well, me. Now. All right. All right. Get out. Okay. Killing us. You get with handcuffs hey. too now, huh? How are you doing? Well, what's the big deal? Come on. Yeah. I have a record because I went to ruin my dad and one of you had to sacrifice anything in your perfect little life. <laughs> Sector 7. Wouldn't you like to know? Oh. Bumblebee, stop lubricating the man. <laughs> lubricating him. Your clothes, all of it, off. For what? For threatening my dad. Oof. You've got to alert everyone. They already know. Speaker. Huh. Oh, no, he's just hiding. <laughs> Under a bridge. Ouch! Autobots and the glasses, they're just on the ground somewhere. Jeez, whoops! You really need to see what I have in the case. You'll have to accept that there's certain things you won't understand right away. Damn. We believe they're of the same exoskeletal type, and obviously not Russian or North Korean. Captain Lennox, we need you and your team to come with us right now. Go. What's going on? <sighs> you were come right. With me. Only if he comes to. Me too. Who's this? He's my advisor. What did I get you for? Uh, I bought a car. Turned out to be an alien robot. <laughs> Who knew? We need to know everything you know. We need to know it now. Okay. Well, first, I'll take my car, my parents. Maybe you should write that down. Oh, and her juvie record. That's got to be gone. Ooh. What you're about to see is totally classified. Man. 
the United States states getting their hands on this type of technology. It crashed in the ice probably a few thousand years oh, ago. Oh shit. I mean, that's Megatron. Yeah. He's the leader of the Decepticons. He's been in cryostasis since 1935. You better keep him that way. Anyway, Mr. NBE1 here, aka Megatron, that's what they call him. It's pretty much the harbinger of death, wants to use the cube to transform human technology to take over the universe. You guys know where it is, don't you? Oh. Carbon dating puts the cube here around 10,000 BC. Jeez. The Hoover had the dam built around it. The Hoover Dam? The ball feels thick of concrete, a perfect way to hide its energy from being detected by anyone or any alien species on the outside. That's actually pretty clever. Wait, back up. You, you said the dam hides the cube's energy. What kind exactly? Good question. You've got to respect the Japanese. They know the way of the samurai. What the heck is this dialogue? Sentience. Can he have his phone back? Holy crap. Breaking <laughs> oh, the box. Banachek, what's going on? The MB1 hangar has lost power and what? the backup generator is just not gonna cut it. Do you have an arms room? Oh, he's melting. <laughs> You gotta take me in my car. I have people's lives at stake here, young man. Oh, oh. Drop it. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna count to five. I'm gonna count to three. <laughs> take him to his car. Siemens? Yes, sir. I do what he says. Uh. Stop, 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 stop. No, no. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go. Let him go. Listen to me. The cube is here. The Decepticons are coming. Oh. oh. Okay, here we go. He's doing something. Oh, it can condense itself. Message from Starfleet, Captain. Let's get to it. He's right. We stay here. We're screwed with Megatron and the other hang. It's an old army radio console. It'll work. Anything's possible. You see that? <laughs> Megatron can beat even double and triple coverage. Let's see him do it. Football counting dog. It's a fighter jet. Ugh. We're live. Where are the mics? What mics? Mics. This no, doesn't work without no, Mike Simmons! No, 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 no! Glenn? Huh? Can you hotwire this computer to transmit a tone through the radio? What good is that? Morse code! You can use this to transmit it through that! Okay, I'll do it! There's Optimus. Transformers! Tor Tokyo Drift! Uh -oh. What the hell was that? Uh oh. Barricade the door. Search. I, I got it! We're transmitting! Ain't exactly what I say. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Is he no Morse code? Jeez. Sir, I have an authenticated airstrike order from SECDA. Some weird camera angles. Is he like skating? Oh man. He's got like rollerblade for him. Oh. Just pulled out a sword. Oh. Uh oh. Oh! I see. <laughs> oh shit! This movie's kind of fun, but I don't know how they get five more sequels out of this. Use them. It's all we got. Find air cover and vector Blackhawks for extraction. 
Oh no! What the hell was that? What are you talking about? What do you mean we're not talking about? They shot at us! F-22 pilots would never fly below buildings. That's alien. That ain't friendly. Ah shit. Ah shit. <laughs> Is she having ideas? Scan into something else. Sam, help me with this. Here, take this flare. Okay, there's a tall white building with statues on top. Go to the roof. Set the flare. No. Signal the chopper and set oh, the I flare. Can't do Listen to me. You're a soldier now. You gotta go. You gotta go. No, I'm not. You need to go. No, I'm not leaving until I get Bumblebee out of here. Okay. Army Blackhawk requested Bumblebee. No matter what happens, I'm really glad I got in that car with you. <laughs> Pull it back. So much metal, I can barely see what's happening. Such a cool look. Oh, they're dead. They're all dead. Everybody in that building's dead. Humans don't deserve to live. They deserve to choose for themselves. And you will die with them. What does he care about humans? He's just trying to get the Osborne. Get away from the windows. Don't stop! Give me that cube, boy! Uh-oh. Oh shit! He activated it. Oh my god, this is not good. Uh, is this firing soft drinks? Oh boy, oh, oh shit. Backing up. <laughs> what is this yelling gonna do? Driving around here towards the action. Oh, those people did. Disgusting. No? What? <laughs> if I cannot defeat Megatron, you must push the cube into my chest. I will sacrifice myself to destroy it. You still fight for the weak. That is why you lose. Megatron only fights for himself. We got friendlies mixed with bad guys. Targets will be marked. Marked with what? Bring the rain. The lasers? 
F-22. What are you doing on that motorcycle? You wanted to get close so you could... Okay. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Fire somehow. <laughs> it just took. It just did whatever instinct told him to. Apparently, you get to keep Bumblebee as a car. Permission to speak, sir. Oh. Permission granted, old friend. You speak now. I wish to stay with the boy. If Aww. That is his choice. The car chooses you. <laughs> Best four thousand dollars ever spent. Gentlemen, the president has ordered Sector Seven be terminated, and the remains of the dead aliens disposed of, leaving no evidence. Unrealistic. They would absolutely just research them and try to build them themselves. A new world to call home. Wow, 2007. This, this music. And though we are worlds apart, like us, there's more to them than meets the eye. Your head is, is kind of a different size than it is on television. <laughs> what are these credit scenes? I don't remember what the song is called. <laughs> Oh, shit. So this is my first Michael Bay film, and I've basically heard that his films are just a bunch of explosions, and I would kind of have a hard time arguing against that. In this movie, though, a lot of the time, there's so much going on on screen that you can't quite see what's happening. I couldn't keep track of what was happening when there was more than one robot on screen, and given that I'm guessing almost all of it is CGI, it means that they meant for it to look like this. I wonder if it gets any better in future films, but it was wild to look at. And the sexualization of Megan Fox does feel over the top, especially since she plays a teenager. And it wasn't until after watching this film that I found out that Michael Bay has been accused of being a creep by many actors. And I'll say, in some cases, the art you create reflects who you are as a person, and this seems to be one of those moments. That's not to say there isn't anything good about this film. I do think the lore from the source material is pretty cool, and there are some really campy moments in this movie that I really enjoy as well. Uh, my favorite scene of the entire movie might have been the freaking Autobots hiding outside of Sam's house and trying not to cause a ruckus. It's so funny because the whole point of Transformers is that they can scan things and blend into their surroundings to not draw attention, but in that scene, they're just so unbelievably bad at sneaking around and keeping a low profile. Another great moment, though, is Bumblebee stopping in the middle of the road after Michaela refers to him as a piece of crap camp Camaro, and then it just tilted and scans this really nice looking muscle car and comes back looking so much better. That was really, really cool. But yeah, I feel like since Michael Bay was is known for his explosions, I thought the action and explosions would be the best parts of the film. But the moments I liked most were the two moments that I just mentioned, which are just very softer moments. I do think the Transformers themselves looked really, really cool though, just great designs. Seeing them transform is really, really satisfying, and the sound design is really on point for how they move and how they fight. And the Allspark is a really interesting entity. It gives sentience to technology, but then that technology seems to always be aggressive and violent based on the couple of times we saw it uh, being used. Why doesn't it create robots like the Autobots? Like, is there a conversation to be had about nature versus nurture even in the world of Transformers and robots? I don't know. But yeah, the story, I didn't wind up caring that much about Sam, Michaela, or any of the individual Transformers. And then all the other characters were just fine. Normally in a story with so many different perspectives, what you want your audience to feel is something like, I can't wait for all of them to meet and work together to save the day. But when it finally happened, I was just like, okay, yeah, they're all together now. Like, It doesn't feel like a big deal. It doesn't feel satisfying. Uh, my favorite character, though, might just be Bumblebee, and he couldn't talk for most of the film. It definitely felt like we didn't get enough time to learn about any of these characters to get really invested in them or feel the weight of some of their losses. I don't even remember which ones died. 
And I don't remember most of their real names really either. I've got like Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, and Jazz. Oh, Starscream. Okay, Starscream is a really freaking cool name though, geez. But yeah, there were a bunch more and I'm just completely blanking on all of them right now because they weren't properly set up, I feel like. But overall, yeah, like this is a pretty flawed film that still has some really fun moments, um, enough for me to enjoy. I'd probably give it a 6.5, this movie, out of 10. The story was fine, the characters are fine, but there were some cool visuals, some really campy dialogue, and I just loved the concept of Transformers so much. I feel like I'm a little kid geeking out about it a little bit. But yeah, I actually very much like the premise of Beast Wars even more because I've never been a huge, huge car guy. So I'm hoping Beast Wars is done well. I think it's called Rise of the Beasts, actually. But yeah, the plan was to originally watch all of the Transformers films before Rise of the Beasts. But it was only after watching this film that I found out that Bumblebee and Beast Wars are prequels to the rest of the series. So I could theoretically just skip straight to those now without missing anything. I mean, if tons of people watch this video and are dying to see me react to the sequels, I wouldn't mind watching more, but I'm happy to skip to Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast too, especially since Beast Wars was my whole reason for coming into this series. Alright, check out the full reaction if you want on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.